Hi there. In this video, you learn how to connect Hyros to your funnel and use it for product automations. The first step is to log into your Hyros account, click Settings on the side navigation, scroll down to the API heading, and copy the key. You can use the current API key or generate a new one. Now open a new browser tab and log into your Funnelish account. On the dashboard, click the account icon in the bottom left corner. Click Integrations, scroll through the list, and click Hyros. Switch on the toggle and paste the API key into the field. And don't forget to save changes. Now you're integrated with Hyros. The next step is to create a funnel automation. So open a funnel and click the Funnel Automations icon. Click the Create a New Automation button. On the next window, click Start from Scratch and then Create. Now you can see the automation canvas. Click Add New Trigger and select an event. In this example, we choose Purchase and then click Create. On the next page, click the trigger on Field and select which step or steps you want the trigger to start on. You can select one step, multiple steps, or all of them. Now let's add an action to the trigger. Click the plus icon and on the next window, click Integration, Hyros. On the next window, click the Action field and select an option. You can choose Create Order or Create Lead. If you choose Create Lead, you can add a tag. You might see tag options Add or Remove. Don't select one of those tags. Those options will be deprecated. Finally, click Add to save the automation. Be sure to switch on the Active toggle in the top right corner of the canvas. The last step is testing. If you select Create Order, the automation creates customer or product details on your Hyros account when that action is triggered. To view order information sent from your funnel, go to Hyros and click Sales Data, Sales. If you select Create Lead, go to Hyros and click Sales Data, Leads to see the contact data sent from your funnel. Hey, that's it. Now you're done.